before I do that, make sure, I'm, yeah, I'm still recording, okay. My heating album, I have to raise the front lid, but the timer, you have to take the cover off. So, uh, oh yeah, let me go get my gloves, if I can reach that far. I can, that's good. I can actually make it pretty much to my toolbox. Okay. Because uh, I don't like wearing these gloves, but they will actually insulate you to keep from getting shocked. As long as you don't get a hole in them or something and <laughs> get through them. But... Uh, these are already, yeah, i got to remember not to mess with the camera or anything. They're already greasy. I didn't get myself any paper towels or rags. There we go. There's some. Okay. Yeah, last time I had this short uh, mic cable and I couldn't reach anything. This time I'm better off. Okay. Now, I'm trying to think. Now, the reason I wanted my gloves, well, I just wanted to get these on before I forgot. Oh, I wanted them to put, and then I'm putting these leather gloves over them so that I can pick up this rug without. Uh, it's, it's, I don't want to pick it up with my bare hands because that's just the way I am. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this around this way. <sighs> these are in the way. I get these old bottles of water that are probably not good for anything anymore. Tried to save water for emergencies. Of course, they haven't been drinkable for a long time, but uh, they still would probably be good for. Uh, putting out fires and stuff like that. One time we were working on the, we were putting in a new bathtub a year or two, a year or so ago. I'm going to go get, I forgot my nut driver. And uh, I decided I decided to fix something that had been needing fixing for a long time on the washing machine during all that. And, uh, and I had to, re ended up having to replace faucet back there, where the washing machine is, and uh, couldn't get get couldn't get it loose. It had been on there since, probably since the house was built back in 1963 or so, whenever it was built. And uh, uh, got decided, well, I'm going to get the torch out and try to heat it up to get it loose. And... Uh, I didn't want the last thing I wanted to do was break the copper water lines. And it kept catching stuff on fire. And I looked around and I'm like, well, I know the water's off. I couldn't find it. I knew we had bottles of water. Those were hidden somewhere. Didn't have no bottles of water. And I heard it. I got it, you know, I didn't want it to spread and burn the house down. So I did get it put out. But I, I tried it. Every time there was stuff there that, in the wall there, that kept catching on fire. So. I had to give up on using the torch. There we go. Put that over there. And uh, I'm going to put my screws so that I don't lose them. What box do I have that's not going to lose screws at the bottom? I think that one. Okay, now. Uh, lots of dust in there, but my vacuum... I'm not going to use the air blower. <laughs> that's usually what I like to do. But my vacuum is really hard to get this far. What have I found? A piece of paper. 
A wiring diagram. You know, I knew that there was wiring diagrams. I guess it was the washer. Yeah, there was one taped in the back inside of the washer. There's so much old dust here. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this. See if I can... I got a lot, enough extension hoses. I think I can get that vacuum up here without... Which way is the right side up? I can't read it without a magnifying glass. Okay, so I do have a mag wiring diagram. Can't see it, can you? There we go. Boy, that's really... Trying to get my fingers off of the parts that you don't want to hide. I might be able to get a... That's not too blurry. I might be able to get a screenshot of that later. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Let me put this somewhere where it'll be... Where I think it'll be safe. Yeah. I, th uh, I guess I'll... Turn the surrender to where I'm going. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but we'll do that. Okay, at least the general direction that I'm going to. Yeah, let's get these chairs out of the way. Yeah. Vacuum. Long. Things. We got a, we got a, a good the good hose. It's long. It's uh, gotten clogged up with tile. When we was doing the bathtub, it ended up getting clogged with tile adhesive. And no, it wasn't me. <sighs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's see. I can't get this, can't get it, the, ho the hose out of there without doing what I didn't want to do. And I'm yanking the camera nearly. What did I do? That's okay. It's not. There we go. That's how come I tw put a twisty on my mic cord and put it on my belt. So I will have to get it out. Okay. Well, since I'm getting it out, get my, glove, my other gloves on top of these before I end up making holes in these. The whole point of them is to... Usually I can't stand the worm because my hands sweat. I think they are kind of beginning to sweat. But if they sweat, then I don't think they're much help. If you touch electricity with a bunch of sweat, you, I, I think maybe that might cause it to... I'm going to take them off for now. Use these others. Cause it to uh, get you. When I start trying to get this thing out of here, I don't want to... There we go. Well, now I'll just roll it up there where I'm going to be. That's better than digging. Doing that. What I was going to do, I didn't even know. If, I never. I don't know if I got enough hoses. I'd have to go from a three inch to a one and a half inch and all kinds of crazy malfunctional stuff. So, uh, we won't do that. Where's the rest of the dryer? There we go. Okay, still have to plug it in. I don't know where I'm going to plug it in at, actually. Think back where I came from. It's going to be... Oh, wait, there's a... Yeah, let's go back that way. There is an extension cord right here, but... Well, let's do that. I've got so many cords already. Mic cords and light cord and 
Yeah, it would be better to go back this way. No, I can't. I can't unplug anything else back there. Can I? What did I plug in? Oh, my light and my camera. So, yeah, I need to go this way. There's an extension cord right here that I think I can use. If I can get to it. I'm afraid that's going to end up hurting me. That sharp piece of metal, sheet metal. There we go. This extension cord will do the job. It's a 30 amp cord. Okay, now. Where's the. What happened? I knocked the end off. There it is. I guess it wasn't on there very tight. Alright, now. Your noise alert. like maybe there's a little thing for when you're a little valve or when you do using it for water and if you tilt it or something that valve will get come up and it's supposed to it shuts it keeps the water from coming up into the motor but it sounds like that's what happened yeah but i didn't tilt the thing so i was like what in the world I can tend to get a little overzealous with the cleaning once I get started. So let's not do that. So 
<laughs> clean it all up and then it never works again. Be really great. Okay. I mean, because I don't ever get it fixed. What? Okay, well, okay. Still recording? Okay. Now, uh, see what I'm going to have to do. The big red one. Well, there's only one red one. It did say, see, this doesn't have a connector like they were showing. And, of course, that was a Sears. But I think it is made by White Westinghouse because that's what I was searching for when I found that. Actually, it's worse. I noticed with this camera, if you put light on the subject, it'll real, really easily wash it out. So, But there's a black one, a yellow one. White, red, orange, brown, yellow, black. And some kind of a jumper. Well, it's not a jumper. It's going from here to... The, it's for the motor, yeah. It's pat This is the timer motor. I know that. Oh, and that one goes to its own connector. This other one is... Oh, it, ha oh, it has its own... There's another black I didn't see. Two black ones going to the motor. They're both black, but one's going to be the power and one's going to be the ground, I'm sure. Unless it grounds by its case. And it's part... Of, well, it could be switch wires. Probably it's a switch wire, and then it grounds by the case, by its own case to the switch. Yeah. Probably. Because okay. I'm pretty sure that is going to... Well, no, it's probably not DC, because, you know, on appliances and stuff, especially the older ones, they didn't fiddle around with converting stuff to DC. They just used AC motors and so on, you know. Uh, just lower... They might lower the voltage, but they didn't... Uh, Oh, yeah, I can leave that light on like that, right where it is, I think. Except for it's blinding me when I do that. There. That does give me a, plenty of light. Okay, now. I'm trying to think of what you... I'm going to leave that. Leave it turned this way, I think. And, uh, no, wait. This thing will just flip all the way over this screw that I put in here to hold this so that you wouldn't lose it when you unplugged it when you're working on it. it uh, it's actually kind of kind of long, but anyway, it's been bent up. It, it pulls on it when you bend up on it, this, this bracket I've got there. Anyway, it's still in there. And I took it off one time when I was working on it, and it made me lose the cord every time I moved. And that's when you're plugging and unplugging, so uh, I'm leaving it. But yeah, I need to turn it around that way so it can lean against the wall, this, this lid, because it flips up. That grease and stuff is from me greasing the uh, the Southern Engineered drum bearing that I made last time out of a cap for uh, diff my 76 Blazer differential. It was a bent from when I broke my drive shaft. Now there are those bolts that you can't see. I won't go any lower. There's, I, put a, I put a wheel on it because... Before I learned how to take it apart, the bearings were wore out, but I couldn't get the drum out. I tried and tried, didn't know how. It's real easy once you know how. You, but um, the bearings were wore out, and uh, but I noticed that if the drum slipped, shift backwards, it would make a real bad noise. But if it stayed more, a little bit more forward, it wouldn't. So uh, what it was doing, it was grinding. It, it, it was moving too much. And it was grinding that way, you know, when it moved that way. And, uh, I mean, what do I want now? Uh, putty knife. And so, anyway. But it it rattles and makes noise a lot nowadays. The, the wheel I made. It worked. It still helps. I've left it in there because it still helps. Even when you put a new... New deal in there. Now this is all sharp. I took my gloves off, thinking I didn't need any. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'll put my blue ones back on because I'll start testing, and the next thing you know, I'll decide to plug it in. And uh, we'll forget about them. <sighs> okay. One good thing about having all my wiring out here, I can see if they're plugged in. So that's all my... I had to use the converters to... TRRS to TRS to get it to plug into my extension cable. 
And uh, so, let's see. I think I need to be a little lower. There's no way I'm going to get me in the work I'm doing in the picture anyway, it don't look like. Yeah, about like that. Okay, so. These. I'm getting crazy. Glove crazy. Okay. So what happens when you get old? You just don't know what to do about anything. Okay. There. Now I can open and close it. But see the, the red wire that I need to get to is going to be back there. So, and the, uh, okay, yeah, it's right on top. So the, uh, the connector that I want to test on is up there. Now let me see which, uh, you know, I guess I'll bring this over here for now. So uh, the big red wire to... Oh, they're saying a, a big red wire on the... I'll just try both sides, I guess. So positive up there. I don't know if it actually matters. It wouldn't matter. This is an ohm test. And I do remember... Well, it's 15 ohms. Let me make sure, though. Ohm meter. Somewhere I should have got a screenshot. Okay, yeah. Disconnect it. From the timer and then get on the red one. The one that's going down here. Hopefully that's red one is the one that goes down here. If I don't get anything, then I guess I'll know. Huh. That shows it with it plugged in. Guess we could try it both ways. Try with it plugged in and then I'll unplug it. All the way, way to the heating element both times. Yeah, 15.8 ohms is what they were reading. So they said, I kept saying right around 15 ohms. Okay. That's the one I'll leave, I think. Well, no. Let's do it, the one with it off, to remind me to do it each way. Yeah. Okay. Now, I never have been real good at remembering instructions or even following instructions. I was always better at figuring things out. So, nowadays, of course, if you can't figure out, you got to follow some instructions. And, um, uh, so, no meter. Uh, yeah, one of those is black and the other one's yellow. Let me look at that for a second. And, yeah, that yellow wire I need to check out because it actually has some burnt on the insulation. There's two. There's a bigger one. Oh, the smaller one's not yellow. It's kind of tan, light, light, very, yeah, tan, I would say. That could be the a price. It's not broken. Wait a minute. That brown one could be. I mean, I'd forgotten. That was really one of the first things I wanted to check. I can't get... can't get to anything. No, the wiring's not broken, but the insulation's in bad shape. It's not melted in two or anything. Try to remember to get the camera and show that later. But uh, first, I want to do my test, and then I'll maybe show a little more about exactly where I'm at and what I'm doing. Hopefully, if I remember, okay. <clears throat> the light. 